Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 37 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. This test is a test out where, where teachers need to pass in order to get certified for teaching. So, But the math concepts I think are pretty interesting for some questions, including this one. So if you have any math enthusiast friends, share the video. That's a great way to support the channel. Now, let's get to the problem. We have an amusement park which charges an entrance fee of and a cost per ride as shown in the table. Each ride costs the same amount. So if you ride three times, your total cost will be $15. So let's, bef before we get any further, we have that we have a total cost, which in this case is 15 for the first case. And we have an entrance fee that's for everyone. So let's call it F. And then we have the number of rights. Let's call this N. And the cost per right. So let's call this C. So for example, if you have a, t a fee of $10 and you do three rides at $5 each, your total cost would be 10 plus three times five because you rode three times at $5 per ride. So that's 10 plus 15 is equal to $25. That's your total cost. That's how much you'd pay for your whole day at the, at the amusement park. And then we have another uh, row in the table which says the person did nine rides and their total cost was $27. Now you could do trial and error to find this fee and the cost per ride based on this table, but I, I don't recommend that. There's there's two systems or two methods to easily find this, but it's realizing that we're working with linear equations. So with that said, you can watch these videos here and it's how to solve linear systems of equations. And in particular, it's grade 10 in Ontario and it's substitution and elimination. Okay, so you can pause the video here and give it a shot. Watch these videos if you want. That's probably the best way to go about it. You can even click the, the, the Dasmos links in the description below. And that way you'll get a feel and you won't just watch a video, but I'll assume that you've paused the video and attempted this. So we, we know the theory behind it. So let's construct our equation and, and solve for it, right? So we have the, or I'll just write what each variable is. So the T is the total cost. F is the entrance fee. N is the number number of rides. And C is the cost per ride. So it might be $2 per ride or 10 bucks per ride or whatever. So let's construct our equations based on the table, the rows in the table. So the total cost is equal to the fees that you pay when you get there and then the cost per ride times the number of rides. So your total cost for row A or row one, you paid $15. We don't know what your fee is, so I'll just write F. And But we know that's the same one as in the second one. The entrance fee is the same for everyone and the cost per ride is the same for every ride. How many rides did you do? So N is equal to three. So here maybe in the table, I'll just write N n is equal to this and then this is the t t is equal to this and then n was equal to three and then c so note that we have two unknowns unknowns and we only have one equations right now one equation so we can't solve if we isolate for f we'll still have c on the other side and vice versa so we know we need a second equation it's a good thing we have a second row. So the total cost is 27 for the second row. The fee is the same unknown. We don't know what the fee is, right? And how many rides? Well, it was nine rides and the same, the same cost. So now we have two unknowns. Now write F and C. 
and then we have two equations. When we have as many equations as unknown, then we know we can solve. You can kind of think of unknowns as, let's say you're Sherlock Holmes and you're trying to solve a case. The unknowns is the, the, the information or the, the things you're trying to find, whereas the equation is the, the clues, the information that you have. So to, in order to solve the case, to find your variables, you need as much information or more to find what the unknowns are. So if you had seven equations and two unknowns, that's great. You, you have way more. However, if you have one equation and five unknowns, you have less. So you're not going to be able to solve the case. So you always need equal or more equations than unknowns in order to solve. That said, once we know we can solve, I'll just write something like this. Can solve. Put a little check mark. We're happy. So now there's two methods. So I'll separate them as such. We have, we'll start with elimination, okay? Elimination. So we're trying to find the cost per right. That's the question. So I'm gonna eliminate F. So I'll write that in a little comment. Eliminate, eliminate F. So I'll do that by doing one minus two. So what do I mean by this is that we have one and two. We, those are just our equations. We have 15 is equal to F plus three C and 27 is equal to F plus nine C. And we can do a subtraction. So I do at one minus two. Why do I do that? It's because when I do F minus F, I'll get zero. So we get 15 minus 27. I think that is minus 12 is equal to F minus F. So that's zero. And then three C minus nine C that's minus six C. Now I can just divide by, so I'll just write another step. We have negative 12 is equal to negative six C. And how do I solve for C? Well, I, I have a multiplication of negative six. So I can divide by negative six on both sides. And then negative 12 divided by negative six gives us that C is equal to two. So we know that the cost per ride is $2. So, and it's the same for each ride. So it's constant, it's always $2. Now let's do substitution. And you'll see that the words elimination and substitution are substitution. I always had a hard time writing that word. So what we do here is we substitute, we solve for one variable in the one equation and then we substitute it in the other. That's where the names come from. So elimination, you try to get rid of a variable. Substitution, you also try to get rid of a variable, but by substituting it, not by subtracting or adding equations together. So what I'll do here is I'll, I'll write step one, solve for F, in equation one. So recall that we had equation one, which was 15 is equal to F plus three C. How do I solve for F? Well, I get rid of the three C. It's a addition of three C. So I need to do a subtraction. So I get that F is equal to 15 minus three C. Now I can substitute this thing, which I'll call one star. I'll call one star and then step two will be to substitute one star into equation two, into your other equation. So basically I'll show you what this means is that we have equation two, which is 27 is equal to F plus nine C. Well, we know what F is. F is this thing, right? So we substitute it in, we put put this one star into the F. So when I rewrite this, I have that 27 is equal to, I'll write it in green, so it's consistent 15 minus three C plus nine C. So I just substituted the F from the first equation into the second 
And note, we don't have F in this equation anymore. We only have C. So now we have one equation with one unknown we can solve for. It. So let's simplify. We have that 27 is equal to 15 minus 3C plus 9C. So that's 15 plus 6C. And then I can do minus 15. So that's 12 is equal to 6C. And then I can divide by 6 on both sides. So it's C is equal to 12 over 6 or that it's 2 again. So note that we have, I'll put a red box over both sides here. So those are our, are our final answers. Now, we could have, whenever we have systems of linear equations, we can think of it as a, I'll write it in black, a point of intersection. Section. So notice that the this is the entrance fee ac axis. This is the cost per ride axis. It's like the X and Y axis. So when we find the point of intersection of our two lines, equation one and two, we get two and nine. So that means that the cost is equal to two and the fee is equal to a nine. So, but before we get there, let's try to find what our equations, which one's which, right? So we have equation one, which is 15. So F is the Y variable. So if you solve for F, you get 15 minus 3C. So the this one, 15 minus 3C, or you can you get F is equal to minus 3C plus 15. So your Y equals MX plus B. Your Y, like your B is equal to 15, but in this case, it's your F, right? It's, it's your uh, Y intercept, it's your entrance fee. And then minus 3C. So your slope is minus 3. So I'll just write M. M is equal to minus 3. And then in red, we have that it's, if we solve for F again, we would get F is equal to 27 minus 9C. And where do they intersect? At D to 9. So that's our point of intersection is our solution. You can click the link in the description to access this Desmos graph and play around with it. Also, we can now we have our answer, right? But we can build some further intuition. And what if I asked you, what is the entrance fee? How much would it cost for 17 rides, for example? So once we have the cost per ride, it's easy to find the entrance fee. Because, for example, if we take the, the, the first equation, which is F is equal to 27, or let's use the, the first one. Uh, it's F is equal to 15 minus 3C. And we know that the C is $2 per ride. Then it's really 15 minus 3 times 2. And that's 15 minus 6 which is just nine, F is equal to nine. And when you have this equation, you know that the total cost for, to, let's say to find for 17 rides, well, you know that your total cost is the fees plus the number of rides times the cost for each of those rides. So you know that the cost, the fee is nine plus N times $2 per ride. So if you have 17 of those rides, what you do is you do the total cost is equal to nine plus two times 17. I think two times 17 is 34. So you get 34, nine plus 34. And that's six, so that's 43. So you know that the total cost for 17 rides is 43. And you can also see this in this Desmos, right? You have, you your initial cost is nine. And for each ride, for each ride, you increase by two, because that's the, the slope of this line, right? So then it's just a linear equation and you can predict all the cost, uh, all the total costs from that equation.
Now this, I understand that this question covers a lot of concepts, but by exploring the Desmos links, by watching the Khan Academy videos, I think you should have enough to understand how to solve this question. Obviously, I'll need more practice. Please comment below if you have any questions. Uh, it'll be a pleasure to help, uh, help everyone out. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video of Do the Work.